What's going on everybody? Most of you guys have seen my video where I've done the Hello Kitty design and it's all flat and we print upside down and it came out really good. Uh, I had a request for somebody asking how to do the designs on both sides of the print. And I usually do prints like that, but I just never made a video like this coin right here. You know, same thing, same design on the both sides. Um, this guy right here, I sell this on my Etsy. So let me show you real quick. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is like a three inch coin. And since it's almost Halloween time, I'll figure we do something like that related to Halloween. And I'm thinking like trick on one side with like a pumpkin and treat on the other side with like some candy or something. So let's go over here and let me show you what I'm working with. And right here. So this is the pumpkin picture I got that I kind of liked and i went ahead and turned it into a svg usually what i do since i want three inches here's what i do i'll just go to like millimeter to inches and i'll see what three inches is 76.2 so we'll go over here we'll create a new sketch on a flat plane i'll hit c for circle and then 76.2 so i know that's the circle that i'm working with right and then i went ahead and converted this to svg from this website right here uh convert.io and you just load it up in here choose the file and i think it was called pumpkin or something uh pumpkin and then you convert it and it saves it into svg i've already done that so let me go ahead and bring that in click insert insert svg from my computer and pumpkin svg and this is the guy right here we'll bring him right about that right about there okay and hit enter now that's what i like okay cool and then i wanted to make like a uh bring like a halloween font so i went to uh free fonts right here and now uh, this is the one i like right here happy halloween i went ahead and downloaded the font and extracted it uh then you go to you go to google fonts to svg and then once that comes up the first website you can load up the font in here type the word uh, trick and then it'll change it. I already have that right here. So this is a font loaded up in there. Happy Halloween and the word uh, trick right there and then download SVG. Once that downloads, bring that in again, insert SVG and trick right there. And that's the word trick. Okay. So boom, I want that right about there. Okay. And once that's done, perfect. So now what we'll do, I'll extract it, uh, I'll extrude it, right? So what I want to do is like, I'm going to do the solid body in the middle, three millimeters, one millimeter, uh, three millimeters, then one millimeter, uh, I'll extend it up to do this color changes. And then on the other side, we'll do one millimeter. So that's three, four, five, total five millimeter thickness, right? All right, so hit E for extrude and then highlight the whole thing. And then we're going to do negative three and we'll do a new component i don't know if you guys can see that over here oops let me move my camera so you guys can see what i'm doing in this corner okay uh negative three new component hit okay it's gonna hide your sketch bring your sketch back up okay and then we'll do this one millimeter right here so click the first letter hit eight for extrude one millimeter and i'm gonna change join to new component boom right there right there right there and i want trick to be one color so i'm gonna go ahead and, and hit enter on that and what i found myself uh, what i've been doing lately is just renaming these obviously i mean there's been some comments you know about renaming these components it makes it easier and trust me i listen to them and this 100 percent easier when you transfer to bamboo and you're coloring this stuff so this one i'm gonna make it trick right there right and then we're gonna do the outline of the pumpkin so e for extrude one millimeter new component and this is going to be black this is going to be black all of this outline stuff that's pretty much going to be black and boom okay perfect that right there and yes we're going to hit okay all right and this one i'm going to rename it uh pumpkin outline all right then we'll do the pumpkin itself so E for extrude, one millimeter, or maybe I just want to, I'll probably leave this one orange because I'm going to do the whole thing orange, right? So we're gonna, we know the pumpkin's going to be an orange. This is going to be orange. That, 
this guy, this guy here, all of this background stuff. So, and then that right there, this and this. Okay, all of this that I've highlighted is going to be orange. And this guy. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to hit OK on that. And then I'm going to rename that to orange. All right. And then we got the stem. The stem, I don't know what I'm going to make it. Probably black. So I could have done it with black, but I don't know what I'm going to make it yet. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Stem. And then the eyes and the mouth. So E for extrude. Click both eyes. One millimeter. New component. And I'm going to rename this to eyes. And then the mouth would be the last thing I think that's left. And then we'll take a look at it, see how it looks. Uh, rename mouth. Okay, perfect. Let's hide the sketch and let's see what this looks like. Perfect, right? So that's pretty much how my video showed the other design of, you know, when I did the Hello Kitty. So now that we got this, okay, now we want to design the other side. So if you want to design it to where you flip it this way and it's, you know, the design's right there, then that's your orientation, okay? What I want to do is I want to be able to flip it this way and then the design is front facing up, right? So that's my orientation that I'm going to be working with right now. And I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is bring in an SVG of uh, this candies that I found. So I downloaded this picture, went to Convert.io, converted it into SVG, okay? And then we're going to bring it in. So let's click this, hit new sketch, and then insert SVG. Let's bring in, I think I named it Candy. Candy, Candy, Candy SVG. Yep. So Candy SVG right here. Perfect. So it brought in that too. That's fine. We'll clean it up. But let me just reposition probably right there somewhere. And then hit enter. Okay. Now let's clean this guy up. I'm going to hold i'm going to hover over one line and i'm going to double clip and boom and highlight done and highlight oop highlight and delete okay so all that stuff is deleted now we're going to bring in the word uh treat and with same thing i downloaded treat from here with my font loaded in and then download the svg so let's bring that in over here treat Okay, and the word treat is right there. We'll make it about that big and probably about right there. Okay, perfect. Now we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to bring the uh, hit E for extrude. Click the letters, treat R E A T, make it one millimeter, and we're just going to do new component and boom. Okay, and bring the sketch back because it hides it. All right, this candy corn. Is three different colors okay so we're gonna do one component one component one component um, but the outline we can go ahead and get that done now so the black outline we're gonna do one millimeter and change it to component and then this is gonna be the black outline and then we're gonna hit enter okay so this one let me rename it treat this one let's rename it to black outline okay and I don't know if I like this thing. I'll probably just delete that guy right there. Okay. Um, all right. So now we got the candy corn. So the candy corn E for extrude, one millimeter, new component. And so this is candy corn top. And I think the top one is white. So white right there. Now this guy, one new component. This guy is orange, I think. So orange. And then this guy, oops, E for extrude, one millimeter, new component, hit OK. And then this guy is yellow. Okay, so we got the candy corn done. This one, I'm going to do top and the bottom same color. So one millimeter, new component. And I'm just going to call it pop one. And then the middle is going to be another color. So we'll extrude one millimeter, new component. We're going to name this pop two. And then the stem, extrude it, new component. We're going to name this one pop stem. All right, that's done. Now, the last thing that's left is this guy here. 
All right. Well, not the last thing because we've got the, got to do the outside too. So new component right there. That's the little candy wrapper, whatever we want to call it. I'm just going to call it candy. And then the eyes and the mouth are probably all just going to be black. So I'm just going to do all three at the one time. New component. And rename this guy eyes and mouth. Okay, and then all we got left is the whole outside. Okay, so we're going to click the whole thing, one millimeter extrude. And we got to grab everything that's in the background too, and I'll show you. New component. So this A right here, this E right there, and that is it. it okay, and I'm just going to call this one treat body. Okay, so now if we hide the sketch, you'll see we got treat on one side trick on the other side okay now, now another thing i wanted to mention this is if you want to do both sides flat right so obviously you have the freedom of making one side flat whatever side is going to print on the bed make that flat and then make the other side uh extrude up you know and that's how i do this design right here if you see this side right here prints on the bed and that's all flat right and then the other side i make it extrude like a millimeter or a millimeter and a half whatever i want to go with gives it a nicer more depth kind of look and if you want to do that all you do is so let's say this side is going to be flat that's going to print upside down and then this side you want to extrude it so when we did when we brought this whole thing up one millimeter we just don't do that right so let me go back and let me take it all back down again and let's see where we're at and go keep going 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 and right there okay so if you wanted to extrude this side say it's printing exactly like this then you'll just do the the letters so e for extrude click the letter one two three four five we'll make this one millimeter and we're going to do new component and then we'll do the same bring the sketch back we'll do the same for the candy uh one millimeter new component same here one millimeter new component and same here one millimeter new component and then probably the outline to one millimeter new component and then all of this the same way so you get the point i just wanted to mention that there is a choice of doing um extruding it one millimeter on this side oops didn't mean to do that one millimeter on that side and then making it flat on one side so i hope that makes sense what i'm trying to say if you want flat on both sides leave it how we did it if you want to extrude one side you do have the option whatever size on top gives it a nicer look um you also have the freedom to do so now all i do from here is i go to export i export it into a step file which i've already done so and i've already brought it in the bamboo okay so this is what i did in bamboo let me go ahead and move my camera here okay so the, these are the colors that i went with trick right there and when you go to objects you see when we named all of them all of these names uh transfer over when you convert it into a step file okay i picked my color i do have two ams so i'm able to you know choose more colors than than what uh than the four obviously but that's what i colored the front that's how i colored the back and if we go ahead and slice this and look at the preview 37 filament changes hour and 45 minutes uh, 49 minutes not bad so what it does, let me, I'm going to flip flop my camera back and forth. Okay, let me do this. Okay, so if you start from here, one, two, three, four, five layers is doing the colors on the bottom, right? And it does all that. Then it starts bring, bringing in that three millimeter solid body, right? And then it'll start printing one, two, three, four, five layers at the top and boom, done. Okay, I've already went ahead and printed it. It came out beautiful right here. Okay. As you can see, trick and treat, both of these came out really good. I do really like this design. I should have, you know, hindsight, I should have put a hole in there or something, put it on a keychain. I don't know, that's a big-ass keychain. But either way, so it came out pretty good. Uh, and that's how you do dual designs, design the front, design the back. But like I said, if you remember my orientation, remember I said I wanted to flip it and it would be straight side up, not like this. So you just remember that. And uh, it's pretty much the same concept as my other designs. It's just done on the backside too now. 
Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to uh, hit the comment and let me know. Um, if you guys want to see some of my designs, I do post a lot of stuff on my Instagram. Go ahead and follow me on there. Hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. If there's anything else you want to see, please let me know. If I'm able to do it, I'll go ahead and make a video. Thank you so much.